Hello everyone, welcome to Code Language. In this video, we're gonna be looking at two more HTML element tags you probably did not know existed. We're gonna be looking at the block quote tag and the site tag, that's a site with a C. This video is um, primarily for those of you that are at beginner level in HTML, I encourage you to like and subscribe to this channel so whenever i put out a new video you will get a notification all right so we're gonna be looking at the block quote tag first after that we will look at the site tag so what are some of the use cases of the block quote tag i think it's primarily helpful for um browsers and um SEO bots that are crawling your website. You know, it's not when, whenever you are coding a website, um, you're not just focusing on how cute the site looks, right? Um, coding the website to make it easy for browsers and SEO bots to crawl and understand your content a lot easier is also important. All right, so some of you might say, ah, you know what? I don't need a block quote, you know, tag, you know, but I would recommend that you add those. If it comes to a point in the website where you have to add a quote, I would recommend you do that. Every time you do that, you make it easy. Again, like I said, for the bots, the SEO bots, for the browsers to easily understand your website that way they can rank you they can rank your website higher okay um, so let's see how we can apply um, or use this block code so let's say I want to add a quote right here at the bottom here okay so let's put a paragraph in here and say here is a motivational quote I found online all right and then let's say now I want to put my quote in there okay so I start off with a block quote block quote and then I want to put in here site equal to and I want to close this block quote okay so this site here is where we want to tell the browser or the bot where we found the code i mean the um the quote okay so let's say um, we're just going to put a fictitious link in here um found quote okay i'm going to just put this fictitious link but this link should be the link where the code is okay online okay so we're citing that quote here telling the browser this is where i found the quote so let's say i found a quote that said uh, online that say when you feel like quitting think about why you started okay and then I found that quote online. I was like, hmm, you know what? Maybe I could add to this. But I'm just doing this just for demo purposes, okay? So I added every hard moment. Every hard moment points you to your day of breakthrough then I, I added on the day of your breakthrough you will forget all the pain you went through all right there we go so guys we have added 
the block code so let's see how it looks on the front end okay so right here you see right here it started from right here and then we got the uh, where it says here is a motivational code I found online and then that's the code right here so it seemed to indent it a little bit towards the right okay and that makes it look like it is a quote okay so when the browser is reading your content when the SEO bot is scrolling your site and they get there they know oh that's a quote and then over here we tell we let it know that this is the URL where we found the quote okay again this is just for it's a demo URL so you got to put the right URL where the code is okay uh, why do we use quotes to uh, one other reason why it's important is that you don't want Google to penalize you for plagiarism you know like you don't want to copy someone else's content and put it on your site and then make it look like you know you wrote it right so one thing Google doesn't like is duplicated content Google likes original content uh, that does not mean that you cannot take someone else's uh, quote or you know content and try to use it to explain something on your site you could do that but as long as you surround it with a quote like I did over here uh, you are telling Google that hey um, I'm using this content it's not mine you know but I'm using it as a quote and also uh, I'm telling you exactly where I found that quote so it's sort of like that honesty um, you know um, pledge you're giving to Google you know that hey I'm not plagiarizing here right I'm just using this code to explain something to my audience okay so that's why it's helpful to also use uh, you know that's one of the reasons why using a quote can be helpful all right the next one we're gonna be looking at is the site uh, which is the C it starts with C or let me say spells C I T E this is the site tag okay so for the site tag um, let me go ahead and uh, delete this quote right here should we even delete it yeah let's delete it all right so let me delete the quote thing and then we're gonna do one for site okay so for site the site uh, tag is used uh, like a little caption underneath an image all right so let's say we want to place an image right underneath here uh, let me delete this one also okay so let's say we want to place an image right underneath here right but we want to tell the audience and also the browser and SEO bots that uh, uh, we just want to tell you know them what that image is or who let's say if it's a painting right you want to tell uh, the audience who painted that image right okay so let's see some use cases where we need to use the site tag all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in some samples here let's say we have another h4 here and I'm gonna say something like this is a beautiful picture Okay, so something like this right and then I'm gonna put an image over here uh, let me type image all right and I'm gonna find the source of the image I'm gonna go over to my resources image we use this image right here and let me say the alt will be just uh, put something like that or maybe of fruits or something like this and let's make the width of 
the image. Uh, let's make it up. Uh, let's say 440-ish maybe. Uh, let's make the height of it. Equal to say maybe 120-ish. Okay, so we now have our image there. So now we're going to put the site. So the site tag is going to be some type of a small little caption at the bottom of the image. All right, so I'm going to say something like, um, uh, let me open site tag and then close site tag. And I'm going to say uh, fruit picture okay and then I'll say something like from Google pics something like that and then maybe painted in 2022 guys just bear with me I'm just you know putting some content in there just for demo purposes okay so now we have added content let's see how it looks on the front end so as you can see right here we have the site tag used right here let me put some space in here okay so you can see right here that's our beautiful image right there of the fruit and then we have the site right over here at the bottom all right so this is telling Google uh, it's telling the browser, it's telling the, uh, the Google SEO bot that, hey, this image, this is the caption that is describing the image above. Okay, it's not doing any other thing on the website, it's just describing the image above. Okay, and then you can have, you know, this right here. Okay. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I encourage you, um, like I said in the previous videos, that um, uh, you don't have to use these tags, but it's highly recommended. Okay. Uh, why am I saying that? I'm not saying that if you don't use these tags, your site is not going to show up. That's not what I'm saying. But um, whenever you're coding websites, you want to code a website that makes it easy for SEO bots to understand the content of your website. Make it easy for browsers to understand the content of your apps. And when you do that, it helps rank your site higher, okay? Because you're making it easy for these uh, tools to read your website. That's why it's recommended that you do that. Um, it's a good practice, right? That's, that's a good practice, uh, okay? So I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.